Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas, traveled to Paris recently to attend a unique heads of state and ministerial conference to identify financial solutions for tackling poverty, curbing planet heating emissions, and protecting nature in the developing world. Some 40 heads of state and a similar number of ministers from both the developed and the developing world were invited by French President Emmanuel Macron to a new Global Financing Pact Summit in Paris, along with leaders of multilateral development banks, such as the World Bank, international organizations like the OECD, WTO, the private sector, philanthropists, and international NGOs. The tightly packed day and a half summit, work of high-level roundtables, and 40 parallel events provided an opportunity for the developing and developed world to examine interactions between multilateral development banks reform, the mobilization of private capital, climate finance, green infrastructures and solutions related to debt, all focused on developing and vulnerable countries across the globe. Minister Douglas, who was accompanied by the Federation's ambassador to UNESCO in Paris, Dr. David Doyle, engaged in debates at the top platform on the second day of the summit. The summit concluded with agreement and recognition that the target of $100 billion special drawing rights, a reserve asset created by the IMF or equivalent contributions, should be channeled to the most vulnerable countries, especially in Africa, and called for additional pledges. The summit also sought commitments from the multilateral development banks to optimize their lending capacity, increased to $200 billion over the next 10 years via their balance sheets and taking more risks.